Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted again to be joined by Mark Dickinson. Mark, third fight in the pro ranks coming up in the northeast again. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling? Feeling better than ever, mate. Best I've ever felt coming into fight week. Um, being locked away in Essex, um, training for the last 12 weeks, haven't been home. So Friday night, I'm going to show what I've been doing in the gym, 100%. Well, obviously, you fought a much bigger man than you. That's obviously testament to how well Ben thinks your progression is going. Obviously, you're fighting a man in your, in your weight category at least. Uh, on Friday night, so can we see that that menace, that big punch in Mark Dickinson? Um, you're going to see a composed Mark Dickinson. Um, I'll break people down by being composed. Um, don't need to rush anything, and that's what you're going to see. in a true performance for me on Friday night. We've seen like uh, I've seen these Olympians that are coming out. They're starting in six rounders, eight rounders, ten rounders, and some of them in their third fight. For you, obviously, you, you never had that uh, Olympian sort of status and stuff, but. You, you are a problem are high on you, so can we see you progress a lot faster than what most people think? Um, yeah, I don't think I need very much holding back. Obviously, it's about taking the right fights at the right time, but once it, once I get up to that level, mate, I'm coming to set the middle bit of division alight, and uh, we're taking them out one at a time, no problem. That's that's a that's a big statement, man. The middleweight division is a tough division to to, to be in. I mean, you, when you look at the division, the landscape, especially at domestic and world level. Uh, do you get excited when you see all these big names out there? Um, yeah, to be honest, I just want to have my name in the mix. I know what I can do. Um, I just want to be in the mix with them and uh, start showing people and proving myself right. Your gym, obviously there's been ups and downs in your gym over the last few weeks and stuff like that. The highs of Lee When you get that scrutiny in the gym, especially with a coach like Ben Davidson, when he gets all this like scrutiny and stuff like that, what, what did you say to all that? To be honest with you, people can say what they want, do you know what I mean? It works for me. I know that work that I'm getting in the gym is going to make me be world champion. So people can have the stick the two pence in and say what they want. But I know it works for me. And when I win a world title and he's took me from the uh, beginning to the top, then we'll prove ourselves right. That's all we keep. All we have to keep doing is winning. That's all we have to keep doing. Keep winning. Who, who do you spar in a gym? I mean, there's not many guys as big as you in that gym. So who you get? Who's sparring? Do you spar? Um, do you spar, can you spar Pat? He's only in a welterweight. Me, me and Pat have done one spar together, and um, we've done our last spar together. But um, when I get sparring him from like. Different, uh, different gyms and that. I've done a bit with Felix Cash before his last fight and that. Um, a bit with John Ryder before his fight with Danny Jacobs. So um, I'm getting the good sparring in, getting the good rounds in and just learning every day. What can the fans expect from you on Friday night then? Obviously, we, that, that body shot in the first fight was something to see. So can we expect much the same? Cool, calm and composed. And what the knockout? It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Mark, thank you so much for doing this 5 TV, man. I'll see you Friday, mate. Thank you. See you Friday, mate. Thank you, brother. Thank you.